Hi, I'm Tom Hanson, news director of WDSM Radio, joining Steve Kajit and Patty Craig. It was 1985 when Tom Hansen first moved to the Northland, and he's never left. At times it's been a blur, um, but at the same time uh, it seemed, uh, seemed like a lifetime ago when I started. But I had no idea I'd be here 28 years, no way. One, two, three, Hansen back to pass, throws one, drives one. Night after night, for more than two decades, it was Tom viewers trusted most for highlights of their local teams and athletes. He became part of your team. If he was covering your team, he felt like he was on the team. He like hit it over the fence. That comes through. It comes through in the way he reports stories. It comes through in the way he interacts with people. You just feel attached to them and they become friends and if you keep those friendships going for 20, 25 years, it's really hard to let go. Born in Milwaukee and raised in St. Paul, Tom isn't a native of the Northland, but you would never know. He's not from here originally, but he went to school here, fell in love here, and then fell in love with the community. We know the coaches, the athletic directors, the administrators, the teams, the traditions. He hasn't been shy about getting involved in the community and, and being out there and saying, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm part of you, I'm part of the community. That community came to rely on Tom. So did his co-workers. Thanks a lot, you did a great job. Thank you. And one summer day in the late 1990s, a huge favor was asked. And I was supposed to go and do a live shot uh, down at the port, and the live shot didn't work. It's been a while, so let me apologize for everyone. Uh, since the 1980s, I believe, since I've done weather. So. And so who jumped into the breach but Tom? He uh, you know, put aside whatever sports he was doing, jumped in completely cold, did the weather like the pro that he is. It wasn't always strictly professional for Tom, specifically in his own personal dress code. In all that time, I don't think he wore long pants more than about 10% of the time. He wears a suit coat on the top and he's got running shoes or sandals or uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, some kind of shorts, all, especially in the summertime. To be fair, sometimes Tom's wardrobe had to vary based on his location that particular day. Right here in Minneapolis, Boston at the Fleet Center, Green Bay at Lambeau Field. Welcome to the Pacific Ocean. It is hot and it's humid here in Atlanta, just outside Qualcomm Stadium here in San Diego. You can see it's the White House in the front lawn, and here we are in Washington, D.C., talking hockey. The job has taken him around the country, but his favorite stories are still those that he told here in the Northland. I took pride, and I think we took pride, in covering just the local high school teams and kids and athletes because they're the ones that do it for the fun of participating. And to be able to see that excitement and tell those stories to me was the best. One, two, three, handsome back to pass, throws one, drives one.